The purpose of this video is to provide just a brief overview of the email software medication alert system, also called MedMatch or MedMatch Online, and to show you a little bit of, uh, of what the software is capable of doing, as well as uh, emphasizing our integration capabilities with outside software applications. So uh, as you see here, this is the EMAS software homepage on the website, and it basically gives you a brief overview of what EMAS is, what, what the medication alert system does. Basically what it allows people to do is to list prescribed drugs that are being used by a patient or by a loved one, uh, provide any symptoms or reactions that the patient may be experiencing, and we do a quick match against the drugs to look for known ADRs, adverse drug reactions, or drug interactions or compounding effects that may be taking place because multiple drugs are being used at the same time. Now, this is a very simple to use software package. There are um, just a few steps involved in running a, a list and a match, uh, and it is very quick and easy to do, but it becomes even faster when it's integrated with outside software pro uh, programs because with the integration, we can not only run the matching that we uh, need to do, but we pull that from data that's already in the software system itself and you do not need to enter the patients and you do not need to enter the drugs. All of that information is pulled over directly. So what I'm going to show you here in today's screens, um, this is BlueStep. BlueStep is a management software used by assisted living facilities and nursing homes and uh, an integration to EMAS's um, medication alert system has already been performed. So on this particular screen you're looking at a logged in um, user screen for general management software for BlueStep and as you'll see in the right hand corner there's a link directly within the software to do a, uh, an online med match. So clicking on this link would not only uh, bring up the medication alert system, but as you can see, the data is actually already populated with all the patient records. These were not keyed in directly in uh, the medication system on our side. These were pulled directly from Blue Steps records to uh, provide a seamless integration to users so that they did not have to double key in this information. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to pull up a patient today uh, for demo purposes. I'm using a sample patient. A, 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 mock patient, Judy Jones. So I'm going to do a search for Jones and I see quite a few Jones in here but there's Judy, the one I'm looking for, and I'm going to select her. Now as you'll see in just a moment, um, Judy's in here and uh, we've also added a, an MD as her MD on file as her primary provider as well as a nurse and a pharmacist. The doctor and the pharmacist, there are emails on file for those. Um, and we can use those later after we've run a match. You'll see that in a little bit. Um, so just to skip ahead a little bit, uh, I'm just going to show you that her medications are actually already populated. These are, again, populated directly from Blue Step. I did not need to key these in on the EMAS side, um, and I, there was no de data entry required. They were pulled in directly from the patient's records. So uh, the very next step I would do is to uh, specify any observed changes that I'd seen in Judy that I may be concerned about. And in this case, I'm going to give you quite a few. I'm going to give you several behavioral changes. The first behavioral change I'm going to note that I have identified is confusion. You can identify a date that this started um, occurring or it defaults into today's date. Uh, another behavioral change that I'm going to specify is that she seems highly excitable. And third behavioral change I'm going to mention is she's reporting to me that she has some severe drowsiness. So I'm going to note that in here as well. Um, now on the digestive side, uh, I have uh, seen and or been reported that she's got a significant decrease in appetite. And finally, um, in her uh, nervous system, we notice some tremors of the hands. Uh, so I'm going to note those down as another uh, observation that we've identified. So as you can see here, just in seconds, I've keyed in five uh, observed um, reactions that, that the patient is having and I can skip forward to meds in case I wanted to make a change to the regime. If anything had changed since these records were imported, if I needed to remove one, make one inactive, I could always do so. Uh, but if they're correct as is, all I have to do is just go to the match screen and hit match. And the system is actually running right now and just provided to me in less than a couple of seconds a matching report for this patient. What it's done is gone backwards to check for the observed reactions we've identified at all known ADR, uh, drug re uh, adverse drug reactions and interactions as well as compounding effects that may be taking place because multiple drug interactions together are causing a particular reaction. 
and you'll see here that the match did identify three medications with ADRs, adverse drug reactions. Of the three ADRs, three were severe, one was moderate, and one medication was identified by the ACBS list. Um, ACBS is a list of drugs that are not recommended for elderly patients, and as they know by um, birth dates on file for this patient, she's in that, in that range. So they're notifying you not only that confusion, there's the three drugs that might be causing a compounding severe reaction. Um, three drugs were matched, two of them are at risk as being severe. Same thing with drowsiness, those same three drugs with two being at risk for severe. Parkinson's and um, the appetite are further down the list, but they also noticed one particular drug that may be causing that. And then down here is the ACBS list drug. The question marks in here provide you a little bit of detail about each area and what it and a definition of what, what it's looking for. Uh, severity, you don't know what they're talking about. This gives you some definitions that, that you can use. A risk level, these are uh, what those risk level numbers mean. Matching and what we've identified here. So this gives you a very quick, easy way to check those dr uh, reactions that you've identified. Go backwards and look at all ADRs and what drugs may be causing those issues. We do not make recommendations. We do not make uh, suggestions for modifications to the regime. We're only identifying things that may be involved so that this, this record could be provided to the caregiver and or the doctor who is the primary uh, doctor for the patient in case a drug change may be recommended. Um, now you can save this file, you can print this file yourself for your own records, you can actually send this file directly from the system. So if I select the recipients here, I can tell it exactly who I want to be sent these, um, sent these um, records submit the notify and actually a link was sent to these two um, uh, to the doctor and to the pharmacist that are on file for this patient again it's a link with no personal information um, all of the sensitive patient information is kept completely secure within the logged in um, medication alert system and all they are sent is a link that says you have a patient that may be in need of a drug change please click here and when they click they are able to view the same record that you've just generated I should also mention that the seamless integration I showed you earlier without login was um, only accessible because of the fact that we were already logged into the Blue Step software. And because we were logged into the Blue Step software, our link here actually patched us directly into the medication alert system and passed those, log those secure logins to us. It's all the full authentication and user authentication was still performed to make sure that all patient records are kept completely secure. So that's just a little bit about the medication alert system from EMAS software and how it works. Again, I can go backwards now and I can modify these. Let's say that I had made an error when I noticed my report and the Parkinson tremors were not there. Or um, on another day later, I can actually make these inactive. Same with the medications. If I want, I can go to a, an active med and tell it it is no longer active by marking it as inactive. And then we keep track of the date that it was noted as inactive and it is no longer included in the med match because um, perhaps a drug change was made and the patient's no longer taking those meds. So you can make manual changes to the record here but again those um, changes are all tied directly to Blue Steps so if Blue Steps records are updated with more meds, less meds, changes of that type, those are seamlessly passed over to um, our medication alert system. Please feel free to check out more information at medicationalertsystem.com and we would be happy to help you if we can.